did it! There aren't many people who could have dealt with those things. I cannot thank you enough. Now I can continue my research. I must see not one hero, but two. I want to see two heroes. What would one hero's passion even look like? Uh, don't answer that. You are a mighty hero, but you cannot give me what I need alone. Bring another hero here and express yourself to them one to one. You are a mighty hero, but you cannot give me... Mind the flames. They're quite hot. Oh, brilliant. Well, have fun slaughtering that lazy do-gooder. Just hurry back once it's done. Oh, that Max. He's always getting me into trouble. Wonderful. Now, I do kind of know where he is. Um, follow me. Mum always warned us about drinking. It was quite sweet, actually, her concern. She used to say, touch that stuff and you'll end up a worthless, filthy old tramp, like your father. We always respected her wishes in that regard, which is actually a bit uncharacteristic for us. But Max... He just started putting it away. And all the time he's reading out incantations from the book, laughing like a maniac. He turned the trees upside down. It was raining handbags at one point, And then he summoned this huge flaming demon who was amazing at croquet. And there were weird bits as well. I told him he should lay off. And he said, if I didn't like the party, I could leave. And I said, why don't you leave? And he left. And he took the party with him. Here, I'll just get inside. So, if you just turn into a wisp, you can fly right it. Oh, sorry. Stupid of me. Uh, here. He's in there somewhere. I'd go with you, but I think that would just upset him. Good luck. Who needs the living? They're a bunch of wet blankets. I never appreciated life. Hey! Have you come to join the party? Hey, what are you doing? I know what this is about. You can't make me go back. Watch this. Ah, 
hello. Your son's been taken to the... The legendary Norman Nomicon. As a young boy, I endured extraordinary tales of its terrible past. <laughs> Keep up! Almost had me, not really. Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, a ghost! That's not what I expected to find in there at all. You really are a party pooper, just like Mum. She never lets me do anything. It's always, cut that out and put that down and you'll unleash an ancient evil again. Well, I've had enough of her oppression. I've had a taste of real freedom now. Add ale, by the way, which was quite nice as well. I didn't want to kill you. But if it's a choice between that and going back to Mum... You forced my hand!
These are the ghosts of the people Mum warned me not to hang around with, so look out! I told these guys that you drank the last of the wine. They really hate you now. I never liked that bloke anyway. In fact, I'm glad you killed him. I hope you're gonna pay for the mess you're causing. This is why parties should always be open house. You get more undead minions. Oh, wish Boris was still here. He'd make sense meat of you with that croquet mallet. This is what you do for fun. Ruin people's parties. Soon you'll be one of us. So you bested a few ghosts, but you'll never take me back to my mum. I don't need her. I don't need anybody. I'm doing my own thing and no one's gonna stop me. into another one of my traps. When I first came in here and found this, I thought, bloody hell, it'd be great fun to lead someone in here. Well, thank you for obliging me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Get the point. You certainly are sharp. I hope you enjoy big, piercing, spiky things crushing your head. Right, admittedly, that last one was rubbish. spike ceiling starting to descend into an inescapable chamber. He's gone too far this time. I mean, when we first found the book and read from it, that was just healthy, youthful curiosity. And when we summoned that load of hollow men in Bowerstone Cemetery, that was really just an innocent misunderstanding. And the banshee we raised that nearly destroyed Bloodstone, that got blown way out of proportion. But I mean, killing you like this, that crosses a line. Just look at this situation. You're trapped in a room, spikes start coming down out of the ceiling, and actually, they're moving quite fast, aren't they? They were much higher when I came in. I mean, you might only be seconds away from death and... Oh, <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> there. I think that stopped them. Go on, then. Right, let's go and find Max and put a stop to this.
eight years of bloody piano lessons. Guess whose brilliant idea that was? Mum's! She's gonna be sorry I ever learned to play, and you'll be sorry too! She said, do you want to do the same thing with our deaths? I guess I never thought about it that way. Go on then. Have a drink. Well, uh, maybe just a teeny one. Well, how do you feel? I feel like Mum would never have let me do that. What's she going to do? Kill me? I can do whatever I like. Watch this! Another one got up, and guess whose it was? Mine, because they're doing all the work while yours fat the bat. Wisps as well, so it's at least half your fault. Probably more. It never ceases to amaze me. I find something fun and interesting, and as soon as you get involved, it's ruined. You invited me up here. You told me to take a trip. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? And I realize that now, don't I? Look, I had everything under control, then you panicked. You had everything under control when you let her in here. Saved her from the spike. Told her how to get the book. Mum! I knew I would find you two getting up to no good. What are you doing here? Never mind. You've been reading from that book again, haven't you? 
Ant, do I smell ale? Yes, on Max. He had rather a lot, actually. You snitch. This is why I never want you around. You get down off there this instant and march straight back to your graves. And you're not getting any supper. Oh, Mum. We're sorry, Mum. I told you we'd get in trouble. No, you didn't. Thank you for finding my sons and for getting that book away from them. I don't know how they could have got their cold, dead hands on it. But then I don't really want to know. I have nothing to give you. Accept this advice. Don't have your children buried near you, especially if they're anything like mine.
have you come for the message? It is not for your ears. The highly sensitive information I carry is meant only for the ruler of the land. The fate of the land may rest on the secret contained within my memory. For thousands of years I have kept it secure. I shall continue to do so until the queen presents herself. Baron von Orphan was a dabbler in the black arts, particularly alchemy. As a young nobleman, he applied a sample of his own blood, mixed with various alchemical substances, to a mandrake root, and created a small, diminutive version of himself, a homunculus. It was his dark aim that this creation would become a vessel for any ailment or malady which would otherwise plague the Baron himself. From that day forward, Baron von Orphan suffered no disease, no wound, no wart, nary any affliction at all. Thus it was that the Baron lived well past the age of 80, until one day he accidentally knocked the homunculus into an alembic of powerful acid. There, it promptly dissolved, and the horrified Baron, seeing this, steeled himself for the worst, but was fine. Turns out he just had a really amazing constitution. Come over here and die. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate you.
of our needles are rusty. Universe is beautiful. Man. No, wait. I'm sorry. Just doesn't cut it. Stop. I'm sorry. Getting a bit weird. Run. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. No. Whoa. All right. Yay. You could make a good Run. bit of coin hammering Run. metal, you know. I've heard of ghosts haunting houses, but having a party, that's a new one. This land has heard countless battle cries, and... Oh, I can see that weapon has done some killing. Yes, I'm sure you once laid it down on a table, and it... Is that a weapon? I thought perhaps it was a bottle opener. Oh! 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 I wanted to see your weapon, but not that close up. Inextricably linked to issues of class, multiculturalism, gender equality, religion, economic opportunity, and various other political and sociological factors. But really, what you need to achieve it with is an enormous weapon, bigger. anybody else's.
You actually did it? Wow! <laughs> You're quite the, uh, quite the wicked one, aren't you? Well, beyond here lies an ancient temple of evil. I'm working out how to get in there at the moment. Um, shouldn't take me too long. Come back soon! Thanks for the murder! Welcome to the Sanctuary. The armory is at your disposal. Changing your weapon? Swords inflict moderate damage quickly, the weapon of choice for an agile warrior. With a rifle, a skilled shooter can hit targets at significant range and inflict considerable damage. We're owned by a real adventurer. I went so, to you know our goods are gold, stone, and the finest items. Having a party there. Oh. Closing time for old school. You like my new what are you doing here? Oh, you better leave. A couple of days ago. This could be the perfect time to start my own business. Oh, where did you get those books? Blocks? My dad left to me. Can't read anyway. A great way to make money is to start making pies. Sell me your unwanted items. I want to buy them. If I had a shirt like that, I'd wear it for my birthday. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double-checked every bit of it. We just need someone to be the hero. But will that orb thing really work?
don't believe it. You're a hero. I mean, you're a real hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Aliv, Lord of the Fairies, and lo. The hero wakes. Long had she harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it. Don't so it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what she could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves in the story world. This is like when you talk... Excellent! The hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday, carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What, that's it? No clues to solve or anything? Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise, and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. What do you think, guys? Nice. Frame with frame. I guess the most gifted poet of our age doesn't own a thesaurus. Mildred, a humble milkmaid. To brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. What about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large pale hero. I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. It's a thousand gold per plus. So, a plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I can't, I, oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. Bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you serious? A game like this is all about customization. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Ah, now you're talking. And so the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge, and far more exciting than rabbits.
Yeah, bit predictable though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realise you can't fight them though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally with not too much story getting in the way. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! I am the evil Baron. And the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will... Well, they'll do evil stuff. For they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let her open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give her the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now she's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Hello. There's a new sword available. Fast and sharp. I believe those two adjectives are the most apt for encapsulating swords. Hollow men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs>
killer monsters are. Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute, but also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben, you... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. That could lead to a nasty infection. That was just gross. The hero will feast on chicken flesh tonight. Oh, I thought the hero was done for that time. I kind of feel bad for them. Or maybe don't kill them quite so quickly. It's boring to watch. I always root for the underdog. Or under chicken, as it were. And so the mighty hero triumphed over the fire-breathing demonic... Um, chickens? Of doom! Anyway, on she ran, seeking a way out of these dark and The hero emerged cabins. into the light to find the evil baron at bay. Help me, hero. You're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> My underlings will destroy you utterly. So there. I should have paid for better elite guards. Surely you can't defeat my elite guards! I should have paid for better elite guards! Stop that hog killing! Blast you! At this rate, the hog will surely kill you! Stop killing my guards, you fiend! Stupid hero! My luckies will destroy you once and for all! Curse you, hero! You're going to kill them all, aren't you? No! Surely you can't defeat my elite guards! are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. Soon my hob minions will be feasting on your liver. <laughs> Surely you can't defeat my elite guards! Another hop down! Damn you, hero! Damn you! Again! Hit her again, my minion! The Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. 
Nothing now lay between her and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. The magic sword, that is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. You fool! I already told you I'm invulnerable to all your weapons! The sword! The Bane Sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane Sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. Two girls kissing? Bit of a cliché. An incredibly hot cliché. It's ironic. It's a self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. <sighs> well, an incredibly hot self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. <laughs> I did not see that coming. What a great ending! This hero has no time for petty human emotion. Nothing matters but the glory of battle. I think the hero loves her, but faced with a dangerous and uncertain future, she made the noblest choice, to protect the princess from it. Oh, come on, don't ruin it. I'm with Ben. While initially hurt and confused, the princess grew to realise that the hero had acted selflessly and her love grew stronger than ever. Fine, she can think that, but the truth is much more sinister. Great work, my friends. You are fantastic! You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons! Well, that went well, don't you think? Uh-huh. Good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we... Ah, greetings, my... You will? Oh, excellent. Well, I shall arrange for the workers immediately. This could be the start of something special, my friend. <laughs> Welcome to the sanctuary. Made me jump. How can there be so much? Oh. <laughs> I can help you find what you're looking for. 
Step one. Pull your head out your ass. Rebel Princess, I'm on my way to the castle to report to your brother, and to try to find out what I can about his troop movements while I'm there. Ben's in the back room, arguing with Paige. Not an entirely unexpected situation. Ben seems to have a way with a fairer sex, a strange, troubled way. Tell you. I'm telling you, I downed three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I've never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. Well, will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, there she is. Ask her yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a princess, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on, but we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here. You'll have to wear this. Great. Where's my costume? What, I still can't come? What, are you even after the three hollow men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. <sighs> I knew I should have gone up to the castle with Swifty. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Whatever you do, please don't let Mr. Finn follow you. I've had enough of him for one day. I'll see you at Reaver's Manor.
always win. So why don't you save us up? What a thrust. Done with. You gotta be more careful. Now you're not gonna stand for that, are ya? What a magnificent strike! He smacked you one, but now it's payback time! You're gonna set me on fire! Is that it? <laughs> well done, Makers! Oi! Stop hitting him! He's a mate! And the best landscape gardener I've ever seen! Us! Oh, that was a close one! This isn't looking. Don't take that lion down. Get up and fight. If you give up and beg for mercy, we might just... What the? Have we fit enough more than... You're still standing, mate. Supposed to go like this. We're supposed to win. The sooner you come and do that thing when you drop me down, where it is. <laughs> 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 oh, cheeky. Uh. Oh, I love killing rich folk like you, lass. It's so rewarding. Don't worry, just a scratch. Shake it off. Damn dog is dangerous too. Got it, mate. Ha! Take cover, lads. There's lead in the air.
You ain't got a donut's chance in a room full of fatties. Ah, hello. That appears to be all of the gifts. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. There's a lady behind that mask. That's the only thing of which I can be certain. You have gained several trophies since you were in last. Most impressive. If you don't spend your money, it will accrue here in a sort of golden heap. Come on, boys. Let's get this over with quick. Hmm. That really does suit you. Brings out the color in your eyes. Shall we? I'd like to get to know someone like you. And then drown them. If I had a friend like you, I could tell them secrets. Like that I'm gonna set you on fire. Bit late, aren't you? You missed half the rituals and all the drinking. All we've got left is fizzy pop. Um, we apologize. Oh, yeah. Well, just give me the password and we'll forget all about it, all right? Uh, the password? No, I'm just pulling your leg. Come on in. I wasn't kidding about the fizzy pop, though. These lightweights drank the lot. There's probably some cooking sherry left in the kitchen if you're desperate. Nah, don't blame you. Never touch the stuff myself. Well, except in the mornings. I can sort you out a nice orgy later on, should the mood take you. What do you say? Just keep walking, you strange little man. Of course, of course, you'll have to pardon me, miss. I do have a habit of spouting the odd vulgarity. Master Weaver has often brought out his whip to rectify that very flaw in my character. It's just this way. Oh, you'll have such fun. Not drinks and orgies fun, you know, but it'll be a real laugh, I'm sure. Now, there are some ground rules. Master Reaver insists that nobody carries weapons into the ballroom. There have been some accidents. I'm afraid I need to keep mine. I'm here to find some friends. Oh, you're the brave noble rebels. Why didn't you say so? I'm an oppressed proletarian myself, you know. We're practically comrades. If you just go through these doors, you can sneak past the party and rescue your fellow revolutionaries. There's one of my men. Kid, are you all right? Get out, now. Where are the others? All dead. Reva knew you'd come. He's been waiting for you. What? I'll get him out. My, my, my! More busy little bees here to steal Reaver's honey. So industrious, so committed, so bloody annoying. 
When will you people learn to enjoy life? I'll enjoy killing you. Does that count? Oh, you're just full of spunk, aren't you? A true heroine. You must be lightning under the bitches. And now, as promised, the evening's piece de la resistance. Another piece of the resistance. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Do try to put on a good show for my guests, won't you? Show? You expect us to entertain you? But of course. It's just a game, my little sweet. The Wheel of Misfortune. It's rather simple. I spin, you die, we watch. Really, it's, it's a riot. <laughs> Why, no less than the most unsightly, most obnoxious creatures ever to contaminate this world. Super. but you can't dispute their dress sense. So bold, so original, so fashion forward. These ugly things are tougher than they look. A good hit for the Valiant Rebel there. That hob is dead, ladies and gentlemen. He is deceased. He is no more. He has shuffled off this mortal coil. Oh, oh, that hog doesn't know what day it is. Then again, it probably never did. They're tougher than they look. Dear me! I hope there are no miners in the audience. That's one hog left. It died doing what it loved. Entertaining rich people! Oh, that hob's going to be stiff in the morning. Well, stiffer than usual. Poor thing. If anyone would like to donate to my new hob charity, I'll arrange a funeral for the little mite. Or we can just flush him. I might... Welcome to the sanctuary. I need a bit of help here. Oh, it looks like one of our brave rebels is taking a thrashing from someone half their size. One. I don't know about you, but I find Hobbs rather sexy. I like a big mouth. In fact, I require a big mouth. Get away from me! Any other business to attend to?
one almost feels sorry for those repugnant beasts. Then one shrugs and waits for the next piece of carnage. Reva's worse than I thought. What kind of mind dreams up something like this? Like the tales of my greatest conquests, the wheel simply demands to be spun. What delicious fate will it deliver this time? Ah, it's just not a real party without the elegant shuffles of these gentlemen, so hallowed and yet so hollow. Come on. The sooner we make our way through this sick game, the sooner we'll get our chance to kill Reva. Let the tearing of limbs commence. Chop, chop. You should have bought some of Hatch's undead insurance. Guaranteed to pay out in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Thank you. We've been advised not to call them zombies. The Hollow Man Anti-Defamation League is getting stronger all the time. How can these things even walk? Another one down. There better not be any more rounds after this. If only I could shoot Weaver from here. This is getting out of hand. He's gone down like a sack of spuds. Undead spuds. It may have been struck, but it will never stop. Unless, of course, it's struck a few more times and falls over. It's a Holler Man massacre! Not a bad strike for someone afflicted with such rampant rigor mortis. Do dead men feel pain? You might want to ask that fella. performance the poetry of life and death was unmistakable and you had to spoil it all by not dying i'd read about hollow men before but i'm not sure i ever believed in them this better end soon oh wheel let your exquisite circumference regale us with violent thrills Ah, yes! I paid these bloodthirsty mercenaries out of my own pocket. With gold I took from the people, but still, they'd better not disappoint. Mercenaries. Finally. Something I know how to fight. Their literacy may be lacking, but they do have a way with swords. Away we go! You make me sick! Look at the money bags on this one! We're gonna be rich! Oh dear, give me a moment. It feels like a death in the family. Okay, next one! Nice! The life of a mercenary is a short and brutish one, and it was his first day as well. Is it fire? Shit. 
Well, at least he isn't suffering anymore. Oh, he should have blocked that, but he didn't. You rubbish. Well done, lad. Good hit. Aim for the throat. It's all right, folks. We'll send his payment to his widow, won't we, Reva? <laughs> and running. I'm a loving it. I could watch this all day. Remember, you ignorant brutes, I'm paying you to provide a spectacle. A spectacle. It helps if you picture Reva's face on... Come on, honestly. Today's mercenaries are just in it for the money. Yes, very good. And I will feed you beer. I believe that is your victual of choice. As it happens, I was bending the truth about having paid them. It was strictly a no-kill, no-deal arrangement. So you saved me a small fortune. Bravo! I've seen terrible things in my time, but never so much death. Reva's gonna pay for this. Enough games, Reva! Oh, but they're such fun, and my guests do so enjoy fun. Time for another spin! Oh, now, this is a very special round. Wait till you see what treasures I have in store for you next. What now? We can't keep fighting forever. I met these delightful creatures in a rather inhospitable land, far from the turgid green of Albion. I do love to bring two cultures together and see which one dies first. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sand Furies! <laughs> Don't be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen, I think she's all right, and uh, I think she's a she. It's so hard to tell. I'll slice your head up if I have to. I'm gonna kill Reva if I survive this first. Ooh, you should have done that acrobat thing you do. You really have to concentrate to hit one of them. Oh, the Sand Fury couldn't get out of the way in time. A fine block, if you like that sort of thing. It'll take more than that to bury one. Oh, that's a real shame. I encountered these lithe little fighters on the edge of a desert. They weren't easy to box up, I don't mind telling you. I think I'm in love. 
If you make it out alive, Booby Looby, my room's on the second floor. You're just making them more angry, you know. What's beneath those eerie helmets, do you think? A beautiful face? A misshapen monstrosity? I'd rather not find out, truth be told. Whatever is under that... Oh, chat, chat, chat. It could have cartwheeled out of the way, don't you agree? You have to admit, those are impressive reflexes. I'm getting enough target. She could not pirouette away in time. How tragic. They don't call them Sand Furies for nothing, and it's not because they get angry on the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Another tremendous blow from our desert friends. enthralling. Of course, you should be ashamed of yourselves treating foreign visitors in such an unsociable manner. Oh, well. I've really had enough of this. You holier-than-thou idealists, always thinking in the simplest, most binary of ways, but I quite agree. This game grows tiresome, and my guests, they grow restless. No need to get restless, sweetheart. Barry Hatch is here to take care of you. Fancy a quick jig. Oh, you're a rough one, ain't you? But I like that in a woman. You're just... Well, uh, wait, hey, Weaver, help! No! Oh, dear. Do the brutes have any idea how hard it is to find good staff? Still, one might as well enjoy the show. What's the use of a secret society without a little secret, after all? This can't be happening. What are they? You do handle yourself rather well. My suspicions about your true nature would seem to be correct. I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. I hope you're finding them amusing to fight. I don't want you to get bored. Such magnificent beasts. The strength, the power, the cute snouts. You know, I do believe that you might survive this after all. How wonderfully unexpected. It's reassuring to see they can feel pain. I once toyed with the idea of becoming a Balverine, but hiding this beautiful face beneath all that mess. Why, it would be a crime. I did it down now. That is no way to treat my guests. when you invite people from other lands to your parties. You never know when their odd customs will cause a faux pas. That's it, my hirsute guests. Dig in! Dig in!
This is the last party I take you to. Look out! Well, I must say, you've made me out to be a somewhat poor host. Rather rude of you to dispose of all my guests. Now it's your turn, Reaver. Go, oh, my dear girl, why not stop all this bickering? The three of us could go up to my quarters and have a private party. Do you have any idea who this is? It's Logan's sister, the princess. The king's sister, a bona fide hero. Well, I wouldn't dream of coming between siblings. Well, that's, that's not strictly true. There was that time. <sighs> anyway, best of luck with this whole revolution hey, lark. Perhaps we'll meet again one day. Tatty bye. Bloody coward. Would someone mind getting us out of here now? I never thought I'd side with royal blood, but you're nothing like your brother. The Bowerstone Resistance will follow you without question. So long as you promise to change things when you take the throne. Poverty, children forced to work, people living in fear, you have to make it stop. Never be mates. I'm proud to be a soldier, protecting the kingdom and all that. I promise. We should get back. We've got a revolution to plan. You have the support of Bowerstone and its underground resistance, but you still have much to do before you can take Albion's throne. Please return to the Sanctuary, and I can pass along what I know.
The speech will commence shortly. What's going on? All citizens gather at the castle for the king's message. The speech will commence shortly. This is never good. You should find out what it's about.